to you a little bit different today. Um, we're not heading out to Herb, but I've just got a call. Someone's got a snake on their sort of front doorstep hiding out there and they're not entirely sure what it is and they don't really want it hanging around. So I'm going to go see what it is. Um, hopefully being able to catch it and maybe I can form a little bit of the capture. It should be pretty straightforward from what they've described. And then, yeah, I'm going to find a good spot just on the back of the mountain here and just let it go. But I will check in when we eventually get there, if I can get over this disgusting afternoon traffic. Yeah, so I just got to the house now and apparently there is a large snake behind this pillow. And that is a very upset puffetta. We're just going to bag it quickly and we're going to get shame. The dog inside is going to be listed, but you can hear the snake is rather agitated. Let me just get my stuff and we're going to bag it. Which way do you want to go, go on. Let's go. You don't want to go in the tube. That's where I want you to go. No. Usually they just go in without much coercion. There you go. is how you catch a puffetta safely. All right, cool. That was a really quick and painless uh, call out for that puffetta. Um, yeah, I'm just going to find a quick release spot for it, shoot some photographs, um, and then, yeah, just leave it safely away from houses and people's dogs. And I will catch you guys when I head out tomorrow and we're actually gonna go do some herping instead of catching snakes, which is pretty boring in the suburbs. Until tomorrow. Good afternoon. It's now the next day after the puffetta, but as you can see here, uh, the rain and the storms are looking really ominous. But we're going to get after it. I'm just here in a concrete pile, flip a bunch of this concrete, um, hopefully turn up some snakes, some lizards. But as always, this spot that I come to pretty regularly has so much concrete that we just flip and then obviously we're always putting the concrete back and yeah hopefully we are gonna get off to some stuff real soon so coming in hot just after I finished flipping the clip first snake of the day little spotted grass snake so here's just a closer look at this little spotted grass snake unfortunately it's going a little bit berserk and it's not um, wanting to chill out too much but we'll give you a quick look at it um, we've seen quite a lot of them in my previous video so I'm not gonna sort of go on about it too much but yeah nice quick flip straight off the bat it's gonna release this guy real quick and get a couple photos and then we're gonna carry on and hopefully we can turn up a couple more Okay, so I dropped my phone just before I had finished moving this whole rock pile. Well, not whole rock pile, but we're still carrying on. There's some nice roof tiles and stuff like that here, which is just perfect because they heat up so nicely during the day. And obviously in this part of the world being pretty cold and wet winter, these snakes just froth for a bit of warmth. There you go. Well, I'm sorry, that was a bit delayed. But that is a decent sized spotted grass snake. Um, we've only been seeing these really small ones, so really nice to flip a decent sized one for a change. I mean, they get a heck of a lot bigger than that, but like I said, always nice to see a decent sized snake. Just gonna grab a quick in situ of it sitting under the rock, and then we'll have a closer look at him. So here's just a look at the large spotted grass snake that I just picked up, the one that was just under that tiny little piece of concrete and it's actually sitting quite nicely it's quite a dark specimen they're typically quite a lot lighter um just for size reference i mean you can get a, a vague idea of how large a snake is um they get to well over a meter so i mean this is probably not even a third of the size of their potential size but yeah nice flip um over here to get a decent size one i'm gonna carry on and see what else i can turn up see how long it takes you to spot this little guy but this is just a really nice example of the arum lily frog or the arum lily reed frog as they call them um this dude is just sitting out in the open the weather's a little bit miz so he's just soaking up a bit of this overcast weather 
They usually just jump away as soon as you get near, so quite sick to get a bit of footage of this guy. So have a look at this little, um, it's just a Cape Dwarf Chameleon that I just walked up on. Um, he's totally the wrong colour for this bush that he's sitting on, so it was relatively easy just to spot straight off the trail. So if people are asking how do you find chameleons, you can just walk and look in the bushes and you'll see these little dudes just hanging out. So as always, I found myself a nice bit of concrete here and we're just going to work through I really need to get a mount for this, I can just <laughs> set it up and carry on, but yeah, just going to work through a bit of this trash quickly, see if we can't turn anything up. Um, it's actually right where I just picked up that little spotted grass snake, so hopefully we can turn something else up. There we go, check that out. Those are snake scales, and what do we have in there? It looks like a pretty decent size. From the gig eater. Awesome. This is the first one I've seen in the Cape this year. Super chuffed actually. This is Dacipalta Scarborough, the common egg eater. Really common snake, uh, generally speaking. It's just, I don't know what it is. I just haven't seen any of them in the Western Cape this year. So a couple of them in my sort of KZM videos. But yeah, pretty chuffed to see this guy. I'm gonna get a couple of video clips and then we're just gonna put him back in his disgusting trash concrete bar. So here's just a uh, closer look. So here's just a look at that rhombic egg eater from just under that little piece of concrete. Just put him on a bit of leaves here just so you can actually see how cryptic the pattern actually is once they're on something that's a little bit sort of not plain sand like is pretty much all around here um he's not doing a heck of a lot usually they put on this quite sort of ferocious threat display but he is sort of flattening his head ever so slightly there and you can see it actually gives off this appearance of him actually looking like a an adder or something like that um, if you just zoom in there, you'll see. But yeah, he's totally harmless. Uh, he is one of the few snakes that virtually have no teeth in the mouth at all. Um, but he's sort of just really relaxed now. He's not interested in threat displaying. He's not interested in getting away. Um, really awesome little snakes. Um, they're the only one of the egg-eating snakes that you get here down in the Cape. The rest are all restricted to up in the, the northern and eastern parts of the country. But yeah, this is just the Rombi Eater. This guy is really not doing anything, so I'm gonna grab a quick couple of photographs and just let him go. So we're just still out here flipping a little bit, but it's been really quiet after that spotted grass snake and the rock coffee. Um, and after the egg I really haven't seen anything else. Um, but you can see just walking through these sort of piles of trash and literal building rubble. Um, but while we're on the topic of that, I've had a few people sort of ask me sort of how I go on about these trash piles and there's just being so much rubbish everywhere and then people are sort of really coming at me hard asking me why I don't throw away all the trash and I don't clean the places up. Um, for the most part these places are literal rubbish dumps so there's so much trash here and I, I'm not talking about you know, just a, a drink bottle on the floor or a bit of plastic or something like that. I'm literally talking about years and years of trash and sort of decay. Um, unfortunately, a natural sort of habitat. But yeah, just in case you're wondering why I go on about putting all the cover back, is that obviously these snakes and other little reptiles live in the cover. So, I mean, if you're destroying where they're living in a world where we destroy everything, you're pretty much not helping the animals out at all. So, just a little bit of food for thought on that subject. So have a look at this. This is uh, the short-legged seps, Tetradactylus seps. I just saw it basking in this little bush here. Obviously pretty close, filming with my phone. And he's so super chilled. He's just basking out here in the sun. He closes his eyes every couple of seconds. Um, sort of just enjoying the sun. 
but I'm not going to get hands on this guy and disturb him. Hopefully we'll see a couple of others. I've seen a couple of others just scooting through the grass, but haven't been able to get hands on any. This is quite a decent sized one. But yeah, pretty cool to just spot these guys out basking. Well, let's see if you can spot what I just flipped over. Oh, there he goes. He's actually shooting out. He was sitting super still. That's just a little oscillated gecko with an original tail, which is quite uncommon for them. Generally, they have these little stumpy Uyghur and tails. Oh, he's waking up with it. He's going to get a hand on him quick. And you have a good look at him and just pop him back under his piece of concrete. Come on, brother. So there you go. This is just a oscillated gecko. Really common along here on the west coast. We see a ton of them. As I'm sure you guys will have seen in some of the videos. But yeah, just gonna let him go. We don't need him for photographs. We've photographed tons of them. Just gonna put his little house back. And we are gonna move on. So I'm sure you guys can hear, but the wind has gone to absolute garbage. It's about to pour with rain. I just flipped the last piece of cover for today, a piece of asbestos. Got a nice looking cape skink under it. Again, we see these guys all the time. And this is pretty much what the uh, spotted grass snakes are feeding on. So nice to see that they're around. But yeah, the weather is absolute garbage. I'm gonna release this guy. Go back and do a whole brother. Um, ow, down there, bite. Why, why? I'm go back in this hole. And I'm gonna quickly just make my way to the car before I get absolutely destroyed by this weather you can see it's not looking good so here's just a tiny little angular tortoise um, that I just walked up to just on the way back to my car uh, the weather like I said just now is going to absolute trash so just gonna let this guy go and head back to the car before the rain breaks I just got back to my car as you can see the Sun is setting the wind got really like incredibly loud and blustery and incredibly cold so i really hope i can salvage some of this audio but yeah i had a pretty good day so quite a range of species a couple of snakes the aramily frogs for me were just uh, a really big plus i always dig seeing those guys but yeah this will be the last cape herping video for a little while um by the time you guys are watching this i'm getting ready to prep and head out to Limpopo for a couple of weeks. So thanks so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one.